Hey guys, do you like magic on websites? Well, I got just a website for you. Pitcake.me. It's the proprietor of all great things magic. You should go and check it out. Join the Card Academy. Click on the little tab or maybe check on magic or even get a, a hot pig merch hoodie. You could all check that out at pickkick.me. Oh boy, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see you there. Uh, um. These nuts. Hey, hey guys, crazy comments on my demon magic video here with another crazy magic tutorial. You guys like magic? Well, I like uh, magic too, which is why I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a, of a coin trick. You guys like coin tricks for some odd reason. So today I'm gonna show you one using a coin and, uh, and a Sharpie marker. Oh boy, I'm so excited. Now the coin itself is one of these super edgy, specially made coins by people with eyeliner problems. Now, of course, the design and the coin doesn't reflect the eyeliner problem, but uh, just know that's who made it. So for this, uh, we're actually gonna use the, uh, the, the Sharpie marker as a uh, magic wand. So if we just give a little bit of a wave, Weinstein Weinstein, it, uh, it actually disappears. Uh, the coin completely disappears. It didn't go far though, it's actually inside of the cap. You can't see it because the camera is out of focus, but believe it or not, see if we just uh, take the coin out of the cap, it comes out, um, which is weird because it doesn't fit in the... Uh, Oh boy, that's uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Hello there, friends. You guys want to know how it's done? Well, you're gonna need a coin and a pen. Uh, it could be any pen, but just make sure that the pen has a cap on it, uh, like a sharpie marker. And if you want, you could even do one of these. You could do one of one of. <coughs> oh fuck! All right, uh, you could do one of those uh, just to get you in the magic mood. <laughs> ah, so uh, for this, you're gonna need to put the pen under your armpit and you're going to need to execute a false transfer and a goshman pinch uh a goshman pinch is not a move that you do in your bedroom when your mom's not home ha <laughs> uh it's actually a technique to hide a coin in the back of your hand that's what a goshman pinch is it's named after uh, al goshman who's actually a uh, proprietor of sponge balls so if you use sponge balls you should thank good old al goshman however uh, he's he's dead uh, he died because he made uh, the sponge balls. That's actually true. So anyways, you're going to use his pinch to hide the coin behind your hand. Uh, now, a little bit of uh, touches on this particular move. Now, the Goshman pinch is one of those moves that people are afraid of uh, just because they have bad experiences getting into it. But uh, it's not that hard of a move to get. And uh, let's just go into the actual details here. So for this, you're going to hold the coin in your fingertips. You see the positioning here. What's going to happen is that you're going to close your fist. However, the coin is going to ride along behind the knuckles. You see that? You see that hot action here? It's going to ride behind the knuckles because the thumb is actually going to maneuver it to right there between the ring finger and the pinky. Now, the problem that a lot of people tend to have with this move is that the coin ends up being clipped uh, straight, which it can't be because uh, your angles would suck. So this move, you need to actually pinch it at an angle. You see how the coin ends up being pinched at an angle, that's the exact position where you need it to be. So to get into that position, you're gonna maneuver that coin behind your knuckles. It's here between the ring finger and the pinky. The pinky is gonna move up and clip it just like that and let go of the thumb. You see it's clipping it between the ring finger and the pinky just like this and it's gonna let go and your hand's gonna open up. Now you don't want your pinky to be too in because if not, then the pinky disappears and that's a different, uh, that's, um, so this is the right position to have. The coin is at an angle, just like this in the back of your hand, and it's not gonna be seen from the front. So one more time to get into there, you're just gonna push the coin behind your fingertips, lift your pinky up, like it's some sort of fancy Victorian uh, a brunch, and then you're gonna drop your pinky down like it's uh, fifth grade prom, and you don't know what to do. And when you clip, you're like gonna let go of the thumb, and the coin's gonna get clipped behind the hand there. Now, a little bit of a tip is that you're gonna angle your hand down so that they don't happen to see a little bit of a flash. If it's uh, a smaller coin, like a quarter, you're not gonna have an issue with any sort of edge bleeding through uh, your fingertips there, but that's the position you wanna be in. 
uh, and you're going to need to do a false transfer. You can insert your favorite false transfer here, but you're going to uh, draw attention to the pen and the coin. You're going to put the pen underneath your left armpit, uh, much like a magic wand. If you still carry around a magic wand in 2018, you should... Uh, <sighs> um, anyways, what I like to do is that if I'm wearing sleeves, what I do to justify the coin transfer is that I'm going to put the coin in my right hand just like this as I raise this sleeve up. Then as I put the coin in my left hand, that's when I do the false transfer. So all I'm doing is that I'm putting my thumb on the coin just like this as I pretend to drop it in the hand. Uh, do a little bit of a tossing motion as I lift my sleeve up and simultaneously grab the marker. So at speed, it should just look like I'm raising my sleeves and grabbing the pen at the same time. And at this point, you could wave the uh, marker over the hand and the coin apparently disappears. If you don't want to do that, then you can just transfer the coin in your hand as you go and grab the thing from underneath your armpit. So you could wave, uh, do whatever magical sort of uh, name you want. You could go, hey, uh, Harvey Weinstein, you're in jail and you're gonna die there. Um, and then your hand is uh, empty. But you say, look, it's actually not disappeared. It went inside of the cap. So this is gonna be the misdirection you need to uh, draw attention to the cap while your hand is doing the dirty work down here. So this hand is putting the coin in Goshman pinch so that when I come up to remove the cap, my hand is shown empty, you see that? So this hand is shown empty, this hand is shown empty. So you could remove the cap with the coin. You could drop it on the table or just keep it in the hand here. And what's gonna happen is that you're gonna drop that coin from behind the hand. But because of the, uh, the fact that you're holding the pen cap is going to give the illusion that the coin came from the cap itself. So that's kind of the, the hot illusion you're going for here. It's a wonderful little move. And uh, the Goshman pinch is perfect for this particular action because it just looks like the coin just jumps out of the pen cap. Now, traditionally, this is done in this sort of way, right? Uh, in the David Williamston uh, the coin from f pen cap uh, style routine, right? Where you where you apparently remove the coin from the cap just like that. However, uh, in this way, you're doing it a little bit different in that you are doing a false transfer, apparently making the coin disappear, and it appears inside of the cap with an empty hand, which is uh, kind of a benefit uh, to this particular method. So all that's happening one more time is you're just dropping the coin from Goshman Pinch into the right hand. But because you're holding the pen cap, it looks exactly like the coin came from the inside of the pen cap. So that is a little bit of the routine. You can insert that in any sort of a marker, a coin routine that you want. You could do one of these memes uh, if you want to show people that you've never seen a, a vagina. Um, but that's the trick. That's really the trick, guys. Uh, practice it, it's hard. It's hard, to be honest, to get the coin in a Goshman pinch. It's, it's gonna be a difficult thing. You might wanna work your way up. I recommend starting off with a quarter and then maybe moving your way up to, uh, to a half dollar if you uh, are so inclined to do so. I don't have a half dollar on me, but uh, you move up from a quarter to a half dollar and then if you are so inclined, you could maybe do it with a, um, a le lesbian. Uh, make sure to uh, leave a comment below, guys. Leave a comment below, hit the button. The like one, the subscribe one if you haven't done so already. All that, all that, you know, it, it, you don't think that it does a difference, but it makes uh, makes a difference. So just uh, do that. And um, I'm going to go figure out different ways to uh, use a vape pen to uh, vaporize my uh, propylene glycol. That's a good one. Yeah, nailed it. See you again when I see you. Shall I go? Shall